Jim here from 8-Step Startup. Welcome to today's startup business tip of the, day, of the day. And it's a really important one if your business needs, to, if you want the business to get going, get started and get moving. I promise, unless you do this, okay, you will soon, soon get to a point where you start looking for ways out of your business. You'll start looking at things you can maybe bring in as an excuse or you'll look for exits because maybe it's not quite working because things aren't falling in your lap. You'll start having to do things like look for new jobs, you know, a part-time job to maybe just hold off the, uh, you know, the massive descent in, uh, into your savings. Here's as, it's as simple as this. Once you've got your MVP, your minimum viable product that you can sell and you've got it out into the audience, it's very embarrassing as we've discussed in the past, but you've got to go and do it. You need to start to sell. You must start to sell. This is probably, and I've said this before actually, this is the most important technique I believe or skill that a, that a uh, startup business owner has is the ability to sell. Now I don't mean some kind of cheesy way of, of spinning fun lines on being manipulative or anything dodgy because none of that's necessary in sales nowadays. It's actually better I believe to be nice and transparent and simply go straight forward and say here's what my product is it's a great product okay and then talk to people about how it's going to help their world if you're not trying to sell your product as in get the news out that you actually produced something you are soon going to be ending this fun journey this dream is going to be over don't kid yourself building a business is not about being creative all the time okay being creative and in the sense of building your product or your service can only go take you so far being doing the social media and things like that great that can only take you so far you have to realize that there comes a time when you need to pick up the phone you need to go and knock on doors you need to engage with people because unless people are starting to buy your product you are in serious trouble and you know you've got to understand that this isn't some jolly where you get to build some product and indulge in yourself you've got to commercialize it's ultimately going to lead to your downfall unless you do it if you bring in sales then it allows you to bring in more people if you bring in more people you are creating more time for yourself because maybe those people do the social media maybe those people do the sales for you okay but if you create that time well then you can indulge more in the creative side build your new products build the next level as Costas Andriopoulos at, and at Cass Business School in London told me you know you can have this ambidextrous approach then you can explore Explore new products as well as exploiting your existing ones this uh, kind of uh, two-sided approach to business but if you sit back hoping business is going to come in your in your space it's not going to work sending out good vibes hoping some some you know some one person will just pick up the phone and, and uh, say I saw your tweet I've got to put in an order for a million units it just doesn't work like that it does occasionally but you can't bank on that happen this is a happening that's a lottery ticket approach so get real with yourself you need to recognize where your strengths and weaknesses lie if right now now your weaknesses in sales well the best advice I can give you is to remember firstly you need to suck it up and go and try and sell because right now doing zero sales or zero attempts to sell sell is definitely going to get you zero and will guarantee a failure of the business what you need to be thinking is I've just got to learn this skill I didn't take a degree or a course in sales I learned sales uh, you know as a skill and enjoyed being building uh, um, uh, uh, my life through commissions um, by just doing it. I showed up on the first day, I was told to read a script and call phone numbers and I just did it. And I sucked to begin with, but I did it enough consistently that I got there. And if you need to go through this approach of maybe making a thousand phone calls over the next two weeks, which sounds outrageous, but you know what? It's a few hours a day. Just make phone calls. Don't make excuses. Don't go have a cup of coffee first. Don't just think about it a little bit. Just make phone calls, okay? And you'll be terrible. You'll get loads of rejection, but eventually increment a little tiny bit bit by bit, you'll start getting a little bit better. And you'll start realizing people are picking up the phone to you and actually listening a bit longer. Your pitch will become more refined 
fine because you're talking about the same thing every single time. You'll start bringing out the things that are quite good about your product and actually all you're doing is talking about the cool stuff you have on offer. If you speak to enough people and tell them a good enough story, people will buy okay so if you get out there through social media for instance you've got one and a half billion people waiting for you on 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 facebook you'd be stunned enough people out there are going to buy your product but unless you go tell them they're not going to come and buy it okay so don't kid yourself once you get this right it can be really thrilling really liberating and nothing says in a uh, to use the uk parlance nothing nothing says back of the net feeling like when you close a sale because someone says do you know what i'd really like to buy this how do we move forward that's a phenomenal feeling and that's exactly what it's about so go get over yourself go start selling even if you're crap to start with it doesn't matter it doesn't matter but if you don't try all all this world you're creating, all these dreams, they will remain as, as that and you'll be the person in five years time who's back at a nine to five saying, oh yeah, I tried a, a, my own start at once, insert excuse here, it never really worked out, okay, oh, I wouldn't try that. Don't be that person, go get stuck in because you've got to do this, otherwise you'll never quite make it to the levels you want, okay. Speak to you tomorrow for more tips.